Oh, fuck. That's tasty beer. Okay, it's boiler maker night. Boiler maker night, boys. Okay. Um Yeah, you know, what the fuck am I waiting for, dude? I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Fax <laughs> more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, all. Oh, welcome to the dark room. Welcome to the stream. I am Palmo Sahan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I am Palmo Sahanton, the dude in the dark room. It's Friday, August 19th, uh, which makes it a uh, photography Friday here in the dark room. So, we're going to be doing some Fallout photography in Fallout 76. Uh, it's a special event weekend or week. It's actually like two weeks of special event. So maybe we'll probably be doing another standard uh, uh, public play stream next week too. I think if it's still if it's still running. Um, but either way, it's like double event because we have double exp plus the meet week, uh, Graham's cookout meet week thingy dingy fun fun situation that we're gonna play around with. So I'm gonna be doing. Uh, some standard event photography in a public world. I'm trying to get better at that because you know that's not my strong suit. Um, or at least it's just not what we're usually doing. Um, we're also going to play around with some of the fixed focal length lenses that we can use on our camera in the game. Uh, because we haven't really done that. And because it's there's these events called uh, primal, primal Cuts where you get prime meat for this, this meet event during meet week. Uh, it just sounds fitting to, to shoot with prime lenses, and we never do that. It actually limits a little bit of the choices I can make while we're shooting. Um, so it creates a little bit of a different shooting experience, just like in real life, just like in real life. Um, maybe it's going to be good. Maybe it's going to be bad. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't really matter. We're going to have fun uh, either way. Um, sit back, relax, and enjoy, please. Uh, first of all, what's cool about shooting in this game? Well, like I was just saying, uh, we can obviously, uh, swap our lenses, but the camera that we're using to shoot with is based on this real life camera, the, uh, the pro snap camera in the game, pro snap deluxe is the camera name in the game. Uh, this is based on a Argus C3 camera, this beautiful looking camera right here, uh, which we have a lot of plans to play around with this on the stream. We're going to customize it, look, make it look a little bit more like the one in the game. One thing we're going to do tonight, like I was saying, was we're going to swap the lenses on the cameras that we are using. Uh, we might create a, a new camera cover um, that we can uh, match to our outfit. We have a special outfit on uh, in lieu of Meat Week. Um, but just the fact that this camera that we're using in the game is based on this real camera, I think that's really, really cool. Uh, and one thing I'd like to do here on the stream, one of my main goals is to get down to the bottom of how they decide to add these type of features to the game. And it's kind of a long way off. Wishful thinking, but we like to dream big. Um, wishful thinking, but I would love to talk to somebody, in this case at Bethesda, but in any of the games we play, and speak with them and learn about their process designing the cameras and the camera modes and the camera mechanics in the game. All that kind of stuff is really cool to me. Um, and in this case in particular, why did they choose the Argus C3? What about this camera made it special to the person who chose that? You know what I mean? Yeah, Todd. Was it Todd? Was it Todd? We don't know if it was Todd. Todd might not be involved at all. Um, but for, for all we know... Todd Howard does love this particular camera, and he was like, yo, you're putting an Argus in that game, man. You're putting an Argus in that game. Um, but that's something that I've been dreaming about doing. And like I said, we're going to customize this camera in real life to look similar to my favorite uh, camera skin that we have in the game that we can uh, replace uh, the standard-looking camera with. Um, we're going to make it look like the real uh, uh, camera in game to look exactly like the one we have in real life. But that's that's also something a little far... We're getting ahead of ourselves. I pro probably shouldn't have brought that up as soon as I did. It's some, it's like, you know, something we're working on slowly, but um, also is hoping to build a little bit more of an audience before we start doing that. But we're getting very close. 
I feel like we're almost there. Plus, it actually also has to do a lot with how I can shoot things here in the studio, here in the dark room. Um, we need a good top-down camera for working on this little machine uh, on the stream and setting that up. I was, you know, I was first, first and foremost getting this set up so we can stream. Second, doing stuff in the studio here, like doing those photo shoots that we have, we've done in the past, haven't done them for a while, and customizing this beautiful little piece of camera gear. Um, but it's all, all going to happen, I promise you. Um, so, so, yeah, thanks for being patient. R appreciate the patience. Uh, also, if you'd like to see any of these previous previous streams uh, and have a, a spot to find those videos detailing and explaining the customization of that camera. All those can be found on YouTube when they're ready. But I mean, right now we got all the past streams on the YouTube and the clips, our favorite clips from the stream, usually just our favorite shots, the favorite, pi favorite pictures we've taken. Um, from each stream, those will all end up on YouTube. Uh, and additionally, if you would, if you are very much interested in this, uh, this particular camera and this particular game's photography, we have a nice website built out specifically for Fallout. Oh, Pro Snaps! Whoops. Uh, ProSnapCameraClub.com. Uh, is not only where we will be sharing and having galleries of the photos that we've taken here on the stream in Fallout, but also most of those videos uh, detailing the customization of that camera and everything to do with the photog photography in this game. Most of that will be on the ProSnap Camera website uh, eventually. I haven't done really much with that for a little while, but again, it's in the works. There's a lot, lot going on here. I'll tell you one thing, dude. First of all, I love doing all this shit. Second of all, I am never fucking bored. Okay? I'm busy as hell. Uh, I get stressed out sometimes. A little bit. I try to try to maintain, you know. But at the same time, I also like the fact that I am never bored. There's never a moment in my day where there's not something I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, so... I have that benefit. I have that I can say about it. So, um, and this, that includes like getting those websites set up, editing these videos, posting these videos, preparing what we're going to do on the next stream, all that stuff. It's a lot of work, but it's, it's definitely exciting and it's not boring. So I got that going for me. Um, I hope everyone had a great week. It's Friday. Okay. So it's time to have some fun. It's time to goof off a little bit. If you know me, you know I'm a goofball, uh, so we're really going to goof off and have some fun, especially tonight because we're going to be doing something a little bit different than we do um, on our standard Photography Friday stream, uh, just, just in terms of the behaviors that we have while we're shooting in the game and things like that. Um, but we're going to have a really fun time shooting here, so I hope everybody is ready to relax and have some fun. If you did not have a good week... I'm encouraging you right now to take a deep breath, leave your worries outside the dark room because once we enter the dark room here, everything is uh, everything outside the dark room is gone and we are here in the dark room. We're here to have some fun and take some photos, you know what I mean? Um, so please sit back, relax and enjoy. Uh, what else do I got to say? Do I have to say anything else before we can actually hop in? I do want to get we have 30 minutes until uh, the main special event that's happening right now is going to occur so i'd like to get into that at 9 p.m but if we don't it's really not that big of a deal uh first thing we're gonna have to do is review our shots from our previous streams make some room for the photos from tonight and then customize our camera uh, so we can be shooting in the fashion that we would like to um <laughs> i don't think we have anything else to say let's let's well, okay, I'll say this. Um, if my buddy Zar doesn't pop up, it was it was uh, uh, one of my buddy's birthdays uh, on Wednesday, but I was not I was not I was not imbibing on Wednesday, so I'm I'm gonna say cheers right now to Zar. If he comes back, if he shows up tonight, no problem. If he doesn't, ooh, that sounded bad. 
Um, I do have a, a little bit of whiskey so we can do a shot together. I promise that. Um, but if you don't, it doesn't pop up either way. Happy birthday, Zarb. Um, hope you're having a good uh, birthday weekend. Mm. And let's jump in and have some fun, yeah? Um, uh, 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 uh. Okay, so here's my banjo, dude. I'm all dressed up in um, Meat Week attire. Uh, meat Week is all about, you know, slaying enemies and gathering meat. So I have like a meat cooler on my back and I got a little chef outfit on uh, covered in blood. It's a bloody chef outfit. Uh, ready to do some meat stuff. Um, and I will jump onto a public team. Uh, ooh, why is there only one public team? We're going to remedy that, creating an intelligence-based casual team. Intelligence will increase our uh, EXP gain. Look at yep, that me, yeah. horse. Thank you. Um, intelligence does increase your EXP gain. And I have my purse, my particular build, especially the build I'm going to use tonight. It's a little different than the build um, I generally use on the stream, but um, I have my all intelligence build kitted out. I'm not even maxed out. If I'm maxed out, I can get to 70 intelligence, and a little bit of that has to do with our food buffs that we got. My food buffs are not set, so let's get those all. Uh, keyed in. Brain bombs especially. Six int, but I think we can get to seven int on that if we have somebody else join the team because I'm a little bit low powered until I got somebody else on my team. Um, relish, obviously bonus EXP. Very important. I mean, if you're going to want to max EXP, <laughs> duh, got to have that food buff. I'll take a pumpkin pie. I'm a little bit more geared towards toughness during this uh, type of play uh, because it's very it's a very dangerous uh, way to play the way we're gonna play tonight Oof. it's also dangerous to take those buffs that give you max HP it like drops your 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 HP for some reason for a second oh, that's kind of weird um, let's micro balance with some Brahmin milks Am I kitted out well? Yes, got all my armor. Yep, 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 yep. So I'm not going to be flying enemies quite as much for two reasons. One, uh, I don't want to annoy other players on the on the server because explosive weapons and stuff are kind of frustrating and annoying for other players. Um, so I'd like to try not to annoy people as much as possible. Let's see if that happens. Um, I guess I'm never going to know. Uh, but second, if we're using those prime lenses that we're going to shoot with, I'm not going to have the ability to zoom in and frame a far-flung enemy as well as I could. So uh, those prime lenses are going to give us uh, a better chance of getting in, in close to the action um, and taking some cool shots. So the first thing we're going to do, let's go to our camp customize our camera a little bit get the lenses equipped that we want which it's just going to be the standard lens actually all the upgradable lenses which i'm actually interested to see get out of here officer um i'm pretty sure all the lenses uh oh it's looking at me It's looking at me, Ray. Okay, we're good. Uh, interested to... I haven't, I've not checked this. Oh, yeah. First of all, toggle to save the images we take. And then also remind me we have to do that review. Um, but I'm pretty sure all the lenses start at the same... Uh, the same focal length on the wide end. But I could be wrong... So here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to build... I only have 392 broken cameras on my person. I should probably get rid of some of those. It can really fuck your game up having a bunch of random shit on you like that, but that's fine. Okay, so we use this... We 
we've been loving our 105 millimeter lens. The two, 200 millimeter lens uh, was our standard, but we went with this slightly shorter zoomed in focal length lens. And this is all very misleading. 200 millimeter, it would sound like a prime lens to any, uh, any respectable photographer. But what that actually means is that 200 millimeter is the maximum uh, focal length that we have on this lens. We still have the wide, medium, and the 200 millimeter option. Uh, whereas this one, we have the wide, medium, and 105. But those middle focal lengths are different on these two lenses, as well as those long focal lengths. So having these two cameras is very is very nice. So if we want something with a little bit more reach, we can we can swap to this camera. Um, but if we want, what again, these the focal lengths on the 105 seem to work out a little bit better for what we're trying to do most of the time. Uh, but it's nice to have that extra reach when we want it. Um, again, ideally we would we would be able to zoom on these lenses, but they are in fact variable focal length lenses, so it jumps from the wide to the medium to the telephoto end of the lens in three steps. It's not a constant uh, zoom between all of the focal lengths in between, thus making these uh, variable focal length lenses rather than zoom lenses a little bit different. Um, but what we want to do is we want to have the standard lens on this one camera uh, and this is going to be our main camera and i am wearing a more or less white and red uh outfit so i think i think the white crocodile paint goes very well it's either going to be the white crocodile paint or the gardening paint you know what this one seems more uh sunlight based i mean you've got a picture of the sun on there and the white crocodile, I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. The white crocodile just looks cool as fuck, though. Look, that camera's obviously very, very highly discounted. Oh, wait, I also should move, like, a little far from a screen. Um, wood grain is my favorite, and this is exactly the look that we're going for when we end up customizing our real-life camera. We very much wanted to have uh, this wood grain uh, look to it, which I, I already have... The replacement camera cover. I found this great, great, great website that you can buy wood grain camera covers, and I'm going to share that again uh, when I detail the customization of this camera. All will be shared, but for now, uh, we want to match our outfit, and I think this white camera cover is the best. So we'll keep the wood, the the standard lens with the white crocodile paint, and then let's let's do the night vision lens, which looks like it would be very wide. That looks like it would be a very wide type of pancake lens, in my opinion. Um, we're gonna have that, that guy. We'll use the gardening paint on that one, although this is a pretty cool paint as well. All these paints are pretty cool. Mothman paint, um, is pretty cool. Summersville Fancy, that's pretty cool. What does it say on the back of that? Summersville camera camera something why can't I read that because I just can't you know how I could read that is we make it our paint and then we go into our weapons and zoom in that sucker says <laughs> Summersville camera boutique dude okay First of all, we have to go find out if that store really exists in the game. Uh, I think I asked on one of the previous streams. I'm very curious about, in the Fallout universe, where cameras are sold, what the camera economy is like. Uh, you know, is there just some, some giant uh, department store that sells cameras? Or is it kind of like there's still these small mom and pop shops? Like I, I would assume Somerville's Camera Boutique would have a, a little bit of a mom and pop vibe. Interesting, interesting. But we don't want that camera paint. Uh, but anyway, that's a clue. That's a clue that pertains to that question, in my opinion. 
Um, so again, yeah, let's go gardening paint on that one. And then we're going to swap our standard Pro Snap body out. Uh, and we're going to stick with this crocodile paint. Let's see if any of these lenses are wider. So that one we got there. Nah. Doesn't feel like any change in terms of uh, the widest focal length. Um, so both these prime lenses, so that doesn't, so that makes us, that makes us, uh, not want to use this one. Cause this one, we have this interesting green, almost like a monochrome type tint to the images right away. And I know we still have to do a review too. We'll do that in a second. Um, but like, Let's do this really quick. We'll switch between these two. We got this little tent set up here. Do a shot of this with both lenses. We got, oh, also we can turn on our light. We got that one. And we got that one. Then we'll just do a quick little look at those two together. Let's see the difference in our photo guide. And we'll edit some of this shit down. Um, so, okay, so when you go into this night vision mode, the peripheral area of the frame becomes very blurry and you have a very centralized area of fine focus. We could probably use that to effect at some point, um, especially if we didn't mind that color, which is, again, basically monochrome. Um, not quite. I see a little bit of red um, in the umbrella above that table uh, but he definitely heavily desaturated and with like an overall kind of a green ish type cast to make it look like it's a night vision type photograph i would i would imagine is what they were going for um but the colors are not fully desaturated it's just heavily 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 muted um good to know so we can fuck around with that, but we're not going to do that tonight. Maybe we'll do like a full night vision lens time. Or maybe I'll fuck around. Who knows? But either way, um, no change in the actual focal length between those two camera lenses. So uh, we'll stick with our crocodile camera. Here's our promotional shoot that I did earlier. Uh, it's Friday promotional shoot. It's kind of fun. You know, that's fun stuff. Uh, we don't need these though. Bye. All these photos are saved and backed up, so I do not need to worry about losing any of these. There's our wood chopping dude from last time. It's not the best shot, so we can delete that. This shot's okay. Uh, this is the type of shot we're very much hoping for. Some kind of a celestial body with a body in flight in a suggestive type of pose. We kind of had it here. It's an okay one, but it's not the best. I'm going to delete this. This is not the worst shot in the world. It just is not that special. This is like kind of standard for this type of shot. So no, um, I actually do like this shot a lot. How this, this, this body ended up between those two branches there. Uh, and it feels really well balanced with the moon on one side of the frame. Uh, if you were building, if we were building like the Pro Snap Camera Club website, let's say this actually would be a great photo to have with some text laid out directly in the middle portion of the frame. Um, so that's cool, but that void in the middle does feel like it's 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 there for a purpose, uh, which it was not. This was just the best composition we had in the moment. You know what I mean? Very nice comp. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, it's all right. Anyway, we're going to delete it, though. Well, you know, I'll save that one. That might be the best from the previous stream. In fact, that's the only other one that I have saved. <laughs> and then I think we're going back further into the stream. So that was about all we had to do to review. And we have uh, now uh, 20 more photos that we can take. So I think we're good. But this one's up for up for auction um, I'm keeping this one because I have to remember to edit this one into a clip when we capture this shot. 
uh, haven't done that yet. That day has not been edited. I'm a little behind. What I'm most busy with is getting to editing the clips out of each one of these streams. And since I hadn't been doing that, I have a giant back catalog uh, of streams to go through and edit the best of the best photos from, which I'm going to do slowly. Like, I'm trying to do... Uh, my workflow now is, like, trying to get to, like, the most current stream edit as well as, like, one or two of the previous stream edits, and then I'll whittle it down. Uh, but definitely doing each week as they come up now instead of, like, waiting to do it later so that I'm not just piling more and more on to do. Um, but anyway, these are the type of shots we're going for. These beautiful shots of, of bodies flying through the air. Um, although, again, tonight we're probably not going to get many of those since we're going to be using uh, these closer uh, or wider, uh, more simple field of view lenses. Simple field of view. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, but it's going to be it's going to be a little more fun uh, than usual. Well, actually, I don't know. It's going to be more fun. Um, we'll see how fun it is. We will see, but like I said, not going to fly anybody. This server seems dead as all hell. By the way, I'm actually going to swap. I'm going to swap servers really quick. I'm going to swap servers. I don't like one, one good way to determine if a server is healthy or not, in my opinion. Um... Is to uh, look at how many public teams there are on the server. If there's, I mean, there was only one before I started my team, and then I started my team, and then we had, uh, we were sitting there for ten minutes, and nobody joined. So, pretty good indication that it's a dead server. Hopefully, we'll get into something a little more exciting. I don't want to have to do all the work during the events. I want to be able to shoot the events. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay. I'm on the same server. No, I'm not on the same server, but look, we got another high-level dude on a team already. We got two casual teams. That's better than the one. Augustito. My name is Polly Cito. How you doing? Why can't I join the team? Why? Because somebody's loading. We got our photo tree uh, built. We're going to keep stocking this guy up. It's weird. These, like, camera displays don't work very well. Also, I'll tell you that. I put these... See, like, they don't... They're in there, but they don't display. Not sure why... Like this game's glitched out. Why didn't that? Why didn't that go on there? Two, three, four, five. Is there another one? We want our cameras on there. Broken cameras. Uh, we have determined that there's multiple types of different broken camera. You know what? I'll re I'll re enter. I'll re enter those, and then let's add these other ones for sale that we have. Broken camera. Uh, wait, we don't want to put it on the display. We want to sell that. We want to sell cameras. The whole point of our photo sh store is selling optical items, photographic items, and so we're gonna sell broken cameras for one cap. Well, well zero. Okay, I'm generous, but I'm not going to sell for zero. You know what I mean? Cameras cameras are a little bit... Why is it going in a zero? Am I not setting it to one? Sell it. One of them for one cap. One cap. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. One of them for one cap. One cap. 
it's probably it's probably glitching out and being confused by the fact that I have a couple cameras on display and now I'm putting them in the store for sale. You know, what do you expect? It's it's Bethesda. It's Bethesda, you know? Okay, so we're gonna add any kind of lighting, asylum light. We can sell that for one cap. We have light boxes for sale for one cap. Any of the the scopes for the weapons, we can sell those. Um, neon sign that doesn't really fit scope one cap solar panel it has to do with light I'd buy that although this one is worth a little bit more we're gonna sell this for 222 caps my fa family's uh, lucky number is 22 so I'm gonna keep that going table lamps lighting one cap uh, what else did I miss I guess the open neon sign is kind of a lighting element, so we'll put that in for one cap. Uh, a lot of this stuff is not fitting. It just doesn't fit the prototype. It does not fit the prototype. Uh, okay. Okay, did I join that team yet? No. Why am I not... Why can't I join that team? I don't... Uh, it's Bethesda. What do you expect? Okay, well... What? Wh I just want to join. There's so many people on this server. But, like, nobody's on teams. Garbanzo, 608. Okay, you know what? Fuck, I've joined my own team. Nobody wants to be on my team? Can't join teams? Make my own team. Uh, okay, anyway, our store's set up. We got our camera at the ready. It's 10 minutes until that next event, so that's fine. Um, we have plenty of room on our camera roll. We are buffed up, although resting and well-tuned should probably be re-upped, but that's fine. And we have our fixed focal length lens at the ready. So yeah, like I said, here's what we're going to try to do. We're not going to be using our extremely explosive Mervs or our grenade launcher. We're going to be doing stuff more like um, using a standard weapon, aiming for the leg, and then hoping that we proc... Uh, far-flung fireworks because that will send guys up in the air but in a limited fashion compared to what we usually do which are very far-flung um, but the first thing we're going to do is try to get one of these events done these primal cut events very fitting to use our prime lenses at in my opinion let's see is anybody going to go anywhere in particular I'll go to this one you know, we'll see if anybody pops up Hey, that's kind of similar to the shot that I took for the promotional It's Friday shot. I tried to mimic that. You know what I mean? Uh, okay, is anybody else going to... Oof, a lot of shit on the ground. A lot of random shit laying on the ground. Oh, there's, my, there's somebody. Dude, thanks for joining the team, pal. Thanks. Gilly Willy 93. I'm assuming you're born in 1993 or you're 93 years old. I'm going to go with the 93 birth date. That makes a lot more sense being that we're playing games. Uh, maybe this person will come join us. Although, again, here's what kind of sucks about this is like, if I want to shoot during events, that's all fine and good, but... If nobody else is doing the events, what what am I gonna shoot? You know what I mean? Single action revolver on the ground. I guess I'll grab all this shit. Doesn't hurt to grab it. I know I can grab them. And I want to. Also, you might end up being very lucky, get some legendaries just chilling on the ground.
Is this dude that jumped on my team even gonna help us out come join the event? I mean, that's... He's got a relatively lower level. Fuck. Maybe no one's coming to this one. Okay, I'm gonna start. Okay, that guy, Augusto. Trying to join that guy's team. Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna start this event here. Um, and then we'll jump to the other one. Why is my carry weight so low? I feel like my carry weight is very low. It's because I'm not in nerd rage. That's that problem. Gotta be enraged, dude. Gotta be enraged. Perks should be should be set. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, let's make noise and then we'll go to the other the other area because no one's at this particular event. These events, the primal cut events, they spawn in pairs of three, pairs of three. Um, because you can have that. You can have pairs of, of three in this game. And uh so I don't it, it's hard to tell like which one people are gonna be at. And in this case, Augusto, using an explosive. Dude, look at this clown, dude. Oh shit, dude, I got you, pal. Not gonna be on your team because you won't let me join, but. Okay. Augusto. I love you, pal. Just gotta take pictures of you, though. You know what I'm saying? He's a clown. He's messing around. It's fine. I'm a clown, too, dude. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Join my team, man. Hell yeah, dude. Good dude. He's a good dude. Uh. Then we can get some photos of him. Again, it's like. I kind of gotta be a, a dick. If I want to get good photos. Ah! Oh! Okay. Well, I was trying to take some, but it's not happening. Again, it's like, do I, do I want to look like a dick? I mean, I want to take photos, you know what I'm saying? Ah, we got one. Okay. Okay, we're still gonna do this. Again, this is this is also kind of why playing on public servers is not the best idea. Let's get a shot of him fighting a hermit crab. Where are you, Gusto? Let me take a shot. Let me take a picture. Over the shoulder! Over the shoulder! Ah! <laughs> look out, dude! Augusto, look out, dude! Take the shot! Yes! Okay, that could be cool. Uh, you know what, dude? We, we made that happen. You know, take all those caps. I'm not gonna take any. And herein lies the issue with this. <laughs> With this on on the Bethesda servers uh, or whatever fucking servers, uh, there's Amazon servers or whatever. Um, nobody grabs any of the shit from the enemies, and all the shit that does not get grabbed ends up as a loose item on the ground. That's why you saw me picking up all those those items. That has got to fuck up the stability of the server, dude. All those loose items just laying on the ground. I'm sure that's like inherently uh, one of the reasons that this game is not stable. There's something with that that does not feel right. Is it cool when random shit pops up on the ground and you get to pick it up? Yeah, sure it is. Is it cool when legendary items show up on the ground? Uh, yeah, of course it is. Um, is it good for st server stability? I doubt it. 
very much doubt it. It's okay. We got this. We got Tony Babarino, six to nine. You know, he's stoked on that name. Um, let's get some cool shots of this guy, dude. Okay, I did a little work. I did some help. Let's get this guy fighting this, these things. Fight something, dude. What's nice is I don't have to worry about focal lengths or any of that. Oh, don't kill everything yet. Do some cool shit and let me take a picture. Ah! Oh. Get him! Oh. Okay, Marler. Oh shit, we got Graham's meat cook to get to. Damn, it's already nine. Fuck. I get one good shot though. Come on, do some good good stuff here, buddy. Let's rock this. That might have been a cool shot. See, it's like I don't want to look like a dick and only have my camera out, but at the same time, that's what I want to do. You know what I mean? Look at that sunrise, or sun, yeah, I think it's a sunrise. Maybe we can get something with that sunrise in there. If this, if Tony wants to behave. Ah, God, my camera also is definitely jamming quite a bit. I'm getting quite a lot, oh shit, dude. We only have, also only have 30 seconds to do this. Gotta finish this guy off, dude. Ooh, we're still gonna do it. I took photos and we're gonna do it. Oh, oh that was gnarly. We had like five seconds. Good job, dudes. Okay, let's go get to the meat cook. Again, I'm not gonna take any of this shit, um, except for the stem packs, durr. And all of this, does the character name or account name show up? Um, wait, what? When you're shooting the photos? Okay, so... There is some kind of a tagging when you shoot with the in-game camera item like this. There is obviously, if you can see in that top right corner, um, it's it's tagging those objects in my field of view. And it does note the player that is also in field of view. But I don't think, I cannot tell if there's any way, for instance, any of those shots that we just took definitely had some tags on them oof this shot could have been cool it's actually a pretty cool shot of that guy right there that's actually a pretty sweet shot of that uh, uh, mutant behemoth super mutant behemoth I wish he was a little bit closer just like a tiny bit closer but look at those light rays breaking through the tree that looks badass um, that looks kind of cool. Really wish you could see the enemy more. Uh, but none of these have any kind of tags that you can search or that are associated with them. Um, 
can they see your account or character name? I mean, they can see. Well, they can see obviously on my on the team menu on that bottom left corner. They can see that. I mean, they know my name. They know that the person that they are playing with is Paul Musihanton. And if anybody else that is not on my team scans uh, my player character, they can see that my name is Paul Musihanton. No, unfortunately, there's no way to change this the name other other than your screen name. And I know uh, I, we. I, I feel like I feel like we've mentioned this. Oh shit. Oh shit, I thought that was. Um, yeah, there's no way to change how people see your your displayed name, uh, which is kind of kind of silly. Okay, so this is the main event. This guy's gonna. You gonna spin that, dude? Spin that, please. I'll take a photo. The Browns, dude. Take that, dude. Yeah, grill that meat, bro. Take a photo of that meat. He's dressed in a pirate costume. Oh, yeah, dude. Grill that meat. Let me get one more shot of this. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's some meat getting grilled. Okay, let's do some let's do some help for the event, though. He took that shot. This event also is probably not the best to do photos in, necessarily. Add to the Chally's feed pile. Turn in some stuff. Okay, this guy's playing drums. Let's take a picture of this guy playing drums at the event. Over the shoulder drum playing at the event. Okay. Okay, that could happen. Oh shit, brush fire. Put it out. Nice. Oh, another one. Put it out. Keep spinning that meat, my friend. Helps out. It does help out. Put in the greens, put in the meat. I don't I don't have the required item. Why the fuck would I put anything in there and then? I'm looking out for the fire. I'm looking out for the fires and I'm taking photos, dude. Get a shot of Graham, like while the event's happening. Like he's sitting here in front of this table. Graham and meet people behind him. Okay. Nice. I think I did. I think I accomplished the event uh, due to my photography. Good job, dudes. Here's what we can do now is like we can go over to the, the grill and we can cook up some food. Yep, there's some seasoning on there. Yep. Yeah, some good shit. And we can get this guy interacting with Graham. Oh, dude, Graham face off, dude. Look at that shot. Meat treat. Graham Ram facing off with uh, power armor, dude. Let's do it this way with a. Ram. Let's see what the. No, it doesn't work on this side as much. Who not gonna eat the meat? Maybe it does if I'm just down Charlie. here. Oh, cause it meat with meat Turn towards him, with Graham. Wow, great meat cook. Meat with meat, good meat cook. No, don't turn towards me, dude. You gotta turn no, towards the dude. Whatever, I think I got that shot, so. Uh, okay, so these promo cut events. This is kind of the main thing I was hoping that we'd get those shots in, though. Humans, get more the main event. More this event, I don't feel meat. like is gonna <laughs> give us what we would so like to get. What you think of this um, not to say I'm not going to do it, because I will. But, you know what I'm saying. Okay, how much... We got plenty of carry weight. We got... How much space do we have on our camera roll? That's a good question. <laughs> Dude, I like that face-off shot. I... 
would have preferred a simpler backdrop behind them so that they would have stood out. There's like a very messy look to that background, but it's kind of cool that it's a, a power armor excavator, specifically power armor uh, clad player character facing off against Graham like that. It's like they're saying like, dude, meat is meat is good, dude. And then the other guy's like, meat is good. And then Graham's like, meat is good. And the other guy's like, meat's good. And Graham's like, yeah, meat's good. And that goes on and Still on and on, and yada, yada, yada for a while. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep that shot. I like that shot. The lighting also could have helped out if the background was lower key and we had the light coming in uh, more frontal, then that would have helped them stand out quite a bit. But either way, we got this portrait of Graham. That's okay. Again, lighting, not ideal. He's not lit at all. He's got a little bit of side light coming in on his left arm, shoulder, and chin. And lower left cheek and lip area. But other than that, it's like, whatever. This is a total crap shot. I don't know what I was thinking with this over-the-shoulder drum shot. I was hoping it would look cool. Guy grilling. I like this shot of this pirate pirate guy grilling. Here's what I should have done here. I, I should have waited until the, the little, like crank wheel thing was up so you could see that other hand on the crank <laughs> didn't do that like we can see it here that looks great but we lost uh the view of the actual meat being cooked so we kind of boned ourselves still gonna keep the shot um this shot's kind of crap uh v the player character versus that behemoth but this shot's pretty cool again i do wish that this behemoth was a little bit close to us if i had my pip pip boy light on that would have illuminated and filled in that shadow in the front i got should remember to do that i'm gonna keep that shot though this shot could have been really cool love that explosion and the silhouette of the player character in that little mini, mini nuke explosion but it just is like, what the fuck is happening there? I can't tell. Bye. Uh, now, that's the best shot I've ever seen. I've never seen a better shot. Uh, so, Delizar, dude. My man, I got a whiskey shot ready to go. I got the whiskey shot ready to go. <laughs> the birthday shot. You tell me when you want to... We got that right here. We gotta have a clown fighting these bees. I like that shot. That shot's kind of funny too, dude. This guy's surrounded by those bees. Okay, that's all we got for now, and then that's all full. Or we're uh, we're not full. We got plenty of room to shoot. We got 15 photos we can take. Um, let's jump into one of these events. Who's at what event? Do we have anybody more full? We got a lot of people down here. Let's go to this one. Yeah, buddy, I got some I got some whiskey in a in a in a jar to take a birthday shot from a buddy's R. Hey, there's our friend Augusto, dude. This guy is so cool. He's in this whole clown outfit. Ah, why am I stuck? I feel like he swapped from the um Oh shit, is this gonna be the boss? Get down there and get him! Don't kill it yet, dude. Let me get the shot. Damn, dude, no! Oh. Oh. job you know what you guys did the event so thanks i didn't really do much i did not do much there i shot some photos good job dudes um i think there was one more we can go see if we can get to this one wait i got ahead of you haha -ha. three three tequila shots a little while ago i'm waiting oh dude okay i'm gonna finish this event and then we'll do Believe me, I'm ahead of the game myself. I always do... I do a kickoff shot right before I jump on the stream every single time. Uh, let's see if anybody else comes to this event and we can get some cool photos. But then after this event wraps, we're going to take that whiskey shot. 
whiskey shot on the ready. I finished. I I was on tequila weekend last week. Uh, finished off a whole bottle of Cuervo. Yeah, the cheap stuff. What do you want? Your boy is not rich or nothing, so there you go with the Cuervo. Uh, it's pretty refreshing, actually, when, when booze is that cheap, because Cuervo is not expensive. Not expensive at all. Oh, why is this Yagwai running away? Why are you running? Oh, we got this dude just trying to build his camp here. I don't want that guy to be disturbed. They're building their camp. We got your back, dude. Also, we're supposed to be aiming for the leg. So these guys blast off, potentially. The ideal is a blast off and then we swap to the camera. Like that. Blast off, but no body. Blast off, body didn't fly. It's okay. That's okay. Again, random shit on the ground. Like, look at this death claw hand. Just sitting on the ground. I'll pick it up. Pick it up to the server. Pick it up uh, for the server's stability. Okay, dead Yao Guai. Wolf. Oh, look at that pose on this dead Yao Guai, dude. You get something, something with that, like this in the foreground. That would be great, dude. I would love that, but I don't know what else we're going to include. Oh, shit, dude. Okay, well, I want to get it. Maybe, ooh, bear shot. Good job, dudes. Well, Y'all kicked ass. Doesn't really matter. Um, okay. Let's go. I'm going to go chill. Doesn't really matter. Here's a tent. Anybody need a tent? I got a tent. Let's do this. We need to get rested and we need to get well tuned. Great time to take a shot. Okay. Okay. Okay, Zar. Ready for this? Are we ready? Let's take some shots. As long as y'all are doing it responsibly, I must urge the responsibility of the drinking. Your boy, I don't need to go anywhere tonight. I'm I'm staying home. I'm not... Why did my character start to move? That was interesting. Um, but yeah, drink responsibly, dudes. Okay? Nothing's cool about being irresponsible. Why didn't that... Why didn't I stay sleeping? That was so weird. I know you can't see it because I'm in here. Shot, shots, yeah. <laughs> shot, shot, shot. Shorts. Salute my shorts. Salute my shots. Anyway, Zara, happy birthday, buddy. Hope you had a good birthday. Uh, very much appreciate all your support and love. We love you. Uh, cheers, my friend. Enjoy your weekend. Please enjoy your weekend. I know you were saying you didn't get a day off until this weekend, so enjoy your weekend. You deserve it. Cheers. Ooh, I'll tell you what. That was at least a double shot. Oh, that was at least a double shot. Ooh. And I'm chasing it with a boiler maker. Out of a Nuka Cola mug. I don't know how it gets any better. <laughs> I was taking I like took a shot with my girlfriend like a couple weeks ago. We were like taking shots together. 
And then I had like just taken the shot and like, honestly, the moment felt really good. Um, we were just having a fun night and, uh, my face was that of one that had just taken a shot of, uh, tequila, but I was like, I love you. I love you. Uh, and she was like, you don't, you don't look like you do though. You don't really look like you love me. So, uh, what? The worst shots are vodka shots. Oh, I got vodka. I have vodka, but yeah, it, t it just tastes, vodka tastes like rubbing alcohol. There's no, there is no, uh, alcohol that tastes more like a rubbing alcohol. Clinical alcohol taste. Yeah. Then vodka. I absolutely agree. Uh, anyway, enjoy your birthday, my friend, please. It's your birthday weekend. As far as I'm concerned, uh, take as many shots as you want. As long as you're being responsible and hydrating, I'll drink some water. Actually, I will drink water myself right now. By the way, if you get, if you do get smashed, if you get really drunk, if you drink a lot of water along with drinking a lot of booze, it feels even better. There's, there's, it's actually even better. You might, people have, people, it's like a toxic masculinity thing that's like not being hydrated while you drink. It feels so good. If I drink a lot, I'm just also drinking a lot of water and it's, it's, a, it's great. It's great. And just don't, don't, don't do anything stupid. One must encourage. Um, okay. Anyway, yeah. Happy birthday again, my friend. Uh, let's enjoy the evening. Let's enjoy the evening. Uh, looks like we got a public event lying in the sand, but nobody's over there. I do need to re-up my food buffs in 12 minutes at 9.32. I'll have to re-up my food buffs, but not right this second. Uh, we will see. Don't need that. Maybe we can do go do some, like, standard, standard stuff. There's that death claw hand. Um, I could probably rebalance my HP with a little bit of Brahmin milk. Ramen milk spoils like crazy. I wish this shit would last a little bit more, but that's fine. Um, what could we do? What could we do? Um, well, like I was saying, let's go do... We have in between time. Nobody's going to do this event, huh? That's not the best event, anyway. Um, let's go... Let's go to one of our standard haunts. Which we love Kanawa. What time of day is it? It's midday, 3 p.m. Let's go, uh... You know what? Let's go do Point Pleasant. Let's go do Point Pleasant 2,000 times. I will be there very soon, okay? Oh, that shot could have been cool. That shot was okay. How much room do I have? Oh. Primal Cuts came up. Fuck, we're going to go to that in a second. Um, photo gallery. <sighs> that bear on the ground looked like it was going to make such a good... Like, what the fuck is that? There's nothing even in that shot. Delete that. That's... That is... Looks like this guy's moving into the future or something. No. 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 These event shots, dude. This is why. This is why it's never quite as much fun. Here I sit with my my chef hat on. <laughs> level, yeah. Uh, let's see, what level am I at? Three, 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 five, six. Uh, yeah, we're gonna get four thousand. Is gonna come up pretty quick. Look at this guy. This guy's actually pretty prime for like a portrait shot. This is what we should be doing. It's not as much combat.
more like, yeah, getting up close, but we're still gonna aim for the ledge and hope for that, uh, that proc on far-flung fireworks. And I think a standard grenade instead of a Merv is what we're gonna be going for in terms of flying people after the fact. I don't know where that guy went. He's gone. Now uh, we have a cluster of two guys right here. We're gonna do this really quick before we go back to, uh... Oof, see, look at that guy. He's like flying in front of his porch type of shot. Yeah, regular grenades. That's what. That's what. That's just, That's what I was going for tonight. Not flying guys quite as far as we usually do, and seeing what kind of difference that makes. I'm gonna guess that it's gonna be more close-up type shots. Nobody's doing any of those. Are you kidding me? Okay, we got that one and this one. I guess we'll go to this one first. Disappointed by the activity on this server. We can always server hop, which I wouldn't mind. Okay. I'm gonna attract these beasts here. Yeah, I'm a chef. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, real life, real life, um, real life facts. I hate cooking. All right, next season starts September 13th along with the pit. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, oh, I know. I am well beyond... In terms of my score, let's see, where am I at right now? Get 100 gold bullion. It's not a bad time to do this really quick. Five key cards. Might not use those. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, everyone's stoked on the pit update. I am very interested to see how that's going to be. Okay, did anybody go down to this one? No. Fuck. What's everybody doing, dude? This guy's at his camp. This guy's at the White Springs Golf Club. Which is next to his camp. Oh, no. This is what I'm talking about. On, on public servers, I can't... It's like I have to be active in terms of the standard play, which is like we're playing as a photographer, dude. We're not playing as Okay, whatever our rock house. Nothing wrong with rocking house. Hold on, I need my anti-armor weapon. I don't really want to do damage. What is this? A melting stream? I'm not here to melt, I'm here to photograph. But if there's nothing to photograph, one must melt. You know what I mean? That's this. Hey, 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 back up. Yeah, boy. Ooh, I'm gonna die. vampire weapon dude so this this weapon that i'm my main side weapon if i'm not doing if i'm not doing photography my main side weapon is a vampire's fixer explosive 15 percent faster reload uh that's the way to go especially what, with what we're doing right now because I'm going to be taking a lot of damage. Uh, and that vampire is going to come in clutch. We have five minutes on our food buffs, by the way. But if I 
don't use a vampire's weapon, it's very, very likely that I will die. I have a bit of more toughness because I've, I've customized my perks a little bit, but... Also would be very helpful. go down here yet? Nope, nobody's there. Where's everybody going, dude? Maybe it was a mistake to do public. It's like I can't shoot. I can't shoot if no one else is here. But I'm going to level up regardless, so that's... That's fine. Part of the quota. Whoops. There it is, though. Three... Three, three, five, seven. Oof. I think everybody's like the problem is that you can do a certain amount of these events and then you have enough of the requisite item that you gain from doing these events to obtain the special items of this seasonal type event so if people have plenty of those items they're not going to do these events where you would acquire the items oh look someone jumped in last second that's fine Gala Bananas jumped in. I'm glad I helped you out, you know, getting this event done. That's fine. Uh, I don't need any of that stuff. Any of this stuff. Let's just jump to the other one. If we can finish it. This is going to be tough. I have to check out your schedule because I'm always late or miss your stream. Stupid phone doesn't give me notifications. Hey, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's all good. I, I'm, I'm all, I'm very, oh shit, we're not going to do this one. Um, I'm, I'm very loose. Well, that's not true because my general goal is to be on at 7.30, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'm pretty, pretty rarely hit that quota. <laughs> Uh, and I'm, I'm usually doing, doing like eight o'clock closer to eight. I'm trying to get better though. I'm trying to get better about my scheduling. Uh, oh no, we failed this event. It's fine. It's fine. Oh shit. Level three. Oof. Oh, three star guy. Give me a one star. Um, yeah, actually, first of all, a lot of people have mentioned they have trouble with the notifications going through. I'm going to go ahead and say that's a Twitch problem. It's nothing anybody is doing wrong. It's probably that Twitch is not putting out what they're saying they're putting down. Um, because I, yeah, I have had a couple people saying that. Um, if that fails you, if, if, if Twitch alert fails you, if you do join the Discord, uh, for anybody who has not, oh, this occurred, oh, god damn it. Okay, on the Discord, 
we have a secondary alert or there is an alert that goes off when we go live so that would be helpful maybe join the other yeah exactly I, I thought you did but uh it's just one other way to keep keep alert but don't worry about if we you know it's we're here um and i'm trying to it's it's also my fault because i i don't have my twitch schedule let's see what do we have on there right now if i go to my schedule i think i only have thursdays and fridays but generally i'm trying to do 7 30 wednesday thursday friday um wednesdays are wedding wednesdays in um uh stardew valley and that's that's like a seasonal thing so once we finish a season sometimes i'll take some time off to get to the back catalog of a previous stream clipping and things like that um uh, gotta get your twitter account uh to stream oh that's that's true too yeah the twitch uh or uh, does not link to twitter anymore and i fucked that up i fucked that one up and that's only because what happened i think my what what did happen the twitch didn't the twitch stopped being linked for some reason and then i couldn't get it relinked but it's it's a work in progress i'm working on it working slowly um slow slow but surely you know what i mean i'm like i'm i'm not the hare i am the tortoise paul you might you you would you would like to think that the walrus was paul uh the the tortoise was in fact paul the tortoise was paul okay walrus be damned the tortoise was Paul, and that's just how that is. Uh, and I apologize. I a p a u l o j i s. Um, we need food buffs. We need those food buffs. Let's re up our food buffs. That's the first step. Okay, brain bombs were good. Everything else we gotta re up. Gotta re up those food buff. Not gonna eat the Chally's feed. That's for the, that's for the cookout, which we will do one more cookout. We'll do the 10 p.m. cookout, and then that will probably be our last little event that we do. I feel like we didn't take any amazing shots tonight. I didn't. I was not sure in in shooting in this pr particular way. Um, I wasn't sure how it would turn out i know we've been again this this type of this type of photography is not the main the main event when i'm shooting also what am i doing i don't have any of these buffs going silly uh monster mash none of these are going to be good I'm trying to do the standard. Let's go to Johnson's Acre and see what we can do here. Oof. Okay. Love that shot, dude. Look how big the moon looks right there. Very difficult to get that. Ooh. Very difficult to get that framing. Okay, so this spot. Oh, okay, primal cuts came up again. Of course. So again, what we're trying to do tonight, we're not worried about flying the guys too far, but what we want to do is proc um, far-flung fireworks and just use standard grenades. That was great because the Frickin' body flung into the car, but other than that, Oof. no. Whoa. I 
I, I've I've seen opportunities. this guy oh that might be kind of cool he was like falling down from the bridge just like slowly sliding over the side let's do a portrait of this guy with these candles whoops whoops This guy, dude. Maybe that's what we should do. Have these people come attack us. But I would love to go in. Ooh. Mm, I do not have one particular perk that I probably should. Here's what's great, though. Melee attackers don't add blood to the lens when they hit me. Uh, so I can I can let them kind of aggro and come at me, and it's not a big deal. But let's do this. Let's have this guy come at me. I love these uh, burning. In fact, let's do this. Let's go all the way up to this totem. How's it going, dude? What? Okay, let's do this. This guy's like frozen or something. What is happening? What is happening? Oh, dude, some of those shots could come out kind of cool. Bugs working out to our favor. Okay, keep throwing those Molotovs. Full body shot. Full body shots hide behind this thing. Have them come up a little closer. Hello. <laughs> Get throwing that Molotov. That actually could be kind of cool. Half body. Half body this guy. In the foreground. Background of those other people shooting at me. I'm going to delete a lot of these, but... Glitched out body. It's actually how we've gotten a couple of those really rare moth band shots, to be honest. To be honest, isn't there a freaking prime cuts going on too? What am I doing? Okay. Let's take these guys out. Take them out. Go to prime cuts, see what happens. It's not the best. This is again. It's it's better to do it private and shoot our own shit. You know what I mean? But well, you know, we can photo. Cheeseburger man. Get it, dude. I'll go get this one. You get that one. I'll get this one. Oh, 
Guy, beer hat, beers and beer and beer and bees, beer hat and bees, honey and the bees, starring Cher and Greg Kinnear. Could be a cool shot, cheeseburger. Good job, dudes. We did it. Although I loaded in very late, we didn't, I didn't do much, but uh, you know, thank you. Thank you for that. Okay. Yeah, let's check our roll, dude. Let's do a quick edit. Well, first of all, we can get into load bearing and edit while this event is going on. Not not a bad idea. I'm also going to drink a bunch of water. More water equals more better. Okay, let's open the mine. Blow up the land miner with the leg shot. Mm. Yeah, mole miners. I mean, I can fly them. It's just that they don't appear very well in terms of like a body and oh max photos. Okay, yeah, that's what I was talking about. Okay, so we're well rested, we're well tuned. Let's just get our tent set up. Then we can do a review. Quick review. Get rid of some stuff we don't need. And that shot, this guy facing off with the crap. No, crap. It's crap. You can see the blood. I'm getting shot, so I have this blood splattering or spattering out from my torso or chest on the bottom of the frame. That's great. Um, look at that Molotov just about to hit at the bottom of my feet. That's kind of fun. Dude, you know what? That shot's okay. That shot's kind of cool. I do wish I caught this in the moment when the back character on that left bottom third of the frame, I wish that they were firing right there because they would have had a nice muzzle flash illuminating them in a similar fashion to the way that this flaming pitchfork on the right side, this right side character is, is, is uh, being illuminated. And that looks really cool. Kind of a bummer that we missed that left, that left illumination. It's also pretty epic that the rain is falling like that. Yeah, it's a cool shot. Could have tilted down. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Uh, could have tilted down a little bit as well. I feel like there's quite a bit of headroom um, that we did not need. I would have rather have had a little bit more of that. Excuse me. Uh, that that uh, NPC's legs on the right side of the frame. Still cool. This again, almost cool. I do like that those flaming pitchforks have a um, lighting effect associated with them when they're holding holding the weapon like that. That's kind of cool. This is decent timing on that shot. Look at that pose. Dance macabre if I ever seen it. Um, that shit, this shot came out okay. It's just eh. 
Still like this face-off shot. I do wish that background was a little more clear, but that's fine. This shot's kind of eh. Whatever. I like the shadow on the ground, though. That's kind of cool. I bet that dude listens to a lot of industrial rock. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Ramstein is about the best that it gets with that person, you know? <laughs> about as much as much as he knows. Um, I also do like, I don't mind, I know you would think that like, oh, the top of the frame is cropping off the top of his head. It wouldn't, if, if there was something else interesting in the background, this could be a very interesting frame on that forefrontal character. The issue with this image is that there's nothing else happening around it. You know what I mean? Kind of adds to the anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll keep that one, keep that one, keep that one. I feel like this is the best of the bunch of this sequence. This one sucks. All those guys in the background are lost. This one's okay. Between these two, I like how these the enemies on the left, bottom left of the frame are separated a little bit more than this one where they're kind of stacked up. So keep this one versus this one. This one almost came out really cool. I like that that guy on the left is walking through the fire, but then here on the right, we have a little bit of the crop of that bottom left boot. I could have tilted down just a little bit, incorporated the entirety of that NPC, and then had the guy engulfed in flame on the left, but that did not happen. Saving that one. This one, a little bit early on that explosive effect, so we got too much concussion going on. This one's actually okay. You see that character on the bottom left in those flames. I wish they were popping out from the flames better, but I don't mind it, so we'll keep that one. It's like right after this Molotov hit there. Good timing on that Molotov. It's just, I don't think... I don't think here you're going to be able to tell what actually is going on. Or it doesn't feel like it, so buy on that one. No on that one. I like that. This one's okay, but a little bit... Those branches in the left side obscuring this NPC kind of boned me. This actually might have looked cool if that if those branches weren't there. Those like freaking JPEG jaggy branches. I don't like it. This one I think might be okay. Wish there was something better happening in the sky. If we had like a beautiful starry sky with some moon going on in there this could have been okay and he does look he's doing dance macabre so that's fun but no deleted um this one deleted love that face off shot okay let's go try to get to something oh we're supposed to be doing this that's right oh we're about to complete it Ooh, a gusty Ogocito is very low on health. Where's Ogocito? What are they doing? Why are they so low? That looks like a... Oh, they're chilling at their camp. I got 30 seconds on this event, so we'll just keep doing... Keep doing what we're doing. Let's walk over here and see if we can photograph something over here. Maybe something fun. Maybe 
grab a tin can. Let's do, let's do this. Let's go on the computer. Oh, you can't shoot that? I was like, let's shoot a photo of us playing with this computer, but you can't do it. You can't go into photo mode. Okay, finish that. Ooh, and we're overweight now. Come on, now. Come on. Encumbrance? You, we spoke about over encumbering. It's never okay. It's okay. Quick scrapping. Good. Do I did I re up my food buffs? Yes. We're all good. Okay, let's go do a primal cut. We got five minutes before the next uh, event. So let's go do this primal cuts. Maybe someone will come join us. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Not a big deal either way. It's not really not a big deal. Well, it's not a big deal in terms of uh, me playing, but it is a big deal. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to start this one. And then we're going to go to another one, start that one, and see what happens. Got that one started, and let's start. Where's the other one? I guess there was only two. Okay, well, so we'll stick with this one. Um... Nobody else is here to photograph. Uh, so I'll photograph these these guys by myself. Ooh, that's gnarly. Okay. And I will die very easily if I don't actually take action. So let's... Stop being a jackass. You know? Mario lurks. Oh, that could be a cool shot, actually. You know what, dude? If people aren't here, it's not going to stop me from taking photos. Okay. Like, look at this one. Look at this guy. Okay. I'll maybe back off a little bit and we'll talk. So here's what we can do. Nuke right next to this guy. Whip out the camera. Take a photo. Ooh, it could be cool, but I fucked it up. I also don't like how low my health is. We don't need that. I also don't like that maybe some of my armor is broken. That's low. We're good. Nobody else wants to join my event, though, eh? does not like it when I'm moving and trying to take a photo. I'll tell you that. I think that's the main deal. It really doesn't like it when we're moving. I think that's the main issue. Oh shit, I'm out of film? Fucking photographer doesn't have film, dude. Got to remedy that right now, dude. I don't care about a dangerous prime beast coming. Got film to create. 
that moon back here though let's try to work with this this is all we got let's work with it okay let's take out everything that is not that giant dude oh shit we're getting into this other area so we're gonna aggro all these other creatures oh no a queen oh my god dude Let's do that really quick. I'm also gonna get that shot. Lock me. Yep. Okay. Oh, a Scorch Beast coming in? Okay. Sure. Sure. Ninety at ten AM. Whew. Yeah, you know what? I am very lucky I like heat. I do like it warm. Holy shit, dude. Look at this whole thing going down here that we got. Scorch Beast. We got... This. Photos, and then you kill me as much as you want. Oh, dude. Getting a face off shot with those guys. Dude, I didn't even kill them. The Myrler Queen took them out, dude. Where's that Scorch Beast? Dude, the Scorch Beast came in with these Scorch Marlers and took that whole plan out. Oh, okay, Queenie got, oh, okay, well, I'm pretty sure I got a good face-off shot. <laughs> you like heat? <laughs> yeah. Um, my body is a piece of garbage, and my bones will hurt real bad if it's not warm, unfortunately, but that is... That is what I've realized in life, is like my body hurts if it's not, like I have to be, if it's not 70, I feel like I have to be at like a 70 degree uh, type, of, type of vibe. I also am like horribly susceptible to mosquito bites. Um, and from what I, I've read not that long ago is that California, Southern California specifically, is a very good place to be if you don't want to get bit by mosquitoes. Uh, you can only get so naked before you're not making any progress. Yeah, that's true. It's like you have more options. If it's cold, you can, you can get next to a fire. You can bundle up. It's definitely not as easy to cool off as it is to get warm. Um, oh shit, oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, mosquitoes love my legs, oh yeah. So, uh, is anybody at this, five people? Um, I was like, bragging i guess if you could call it that i was like bragging to my girlfriend about how susceptible i am to mosquito bites um and we went on this little mini mini vacation to palm springs like a few like a like a month ago now two months ago now it's july that uh, was a month ago i don't know why you said two months buddy um and I, I literally had, had this this little thought in my head. I was like, 
I've been talking to my girl about mosquito bites for like a while. She has not experienced my mosquito bite susceptibility. And I literally like I thought it would be it would be nice. I was like it'd be nice if I bit I got bit by like one mosquito. Um just so I could show her what I was talking about. And like boy did I get what I was wishing for. So she didn't get by any mosquitoes during our little excursion. And like, I came home with about a dozen, literally a dozen mosquito bites on my ankles and my legs, my lower legs. Um, and it was like really bad. It was like really bad. And here's what I learned. Uh, if you go to, cause I have not, I, I have not been, visited Palm Springs. I, I could not remember the last time I had been to Palm Springs after or before me and my girl went to this event or the, to this little excursion. Um, and what I learned was that mosquitoes in new areas, if you have... What I think, I think I just have an allergy to, uh, what I think, I mean, I think it's basically your, their saliva that you're allergic to, if I'm not wrong, but I have a very high susceptibility to their, their bites, and so the bites themselves get, like, really out of hand. And if I don't, if I don't use like an anti-itch thing, it's like crazy how itchy my, my, my mosquito bites get. And they get swollen. They get really swollen. They get very angry in terms of how red they look. Uh, and it's no fun. I'm like a very mosquito susceptible person. Um, so anyway, sticking with these 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 desert regions that I that I live in, the desert climate is a good call for not being yeah yeah dude. I will take all the spiders. I will I take every spider. Spiders can live amongst me. I am friends with the spiders because they keep the mosquitoes at bay. You know what I mean? Uh. Yeah, I'm not, no mosquitoes. Why did we start talking about that? Oh, because of the heat. Anyway, extreme heat. If it's it, it has to be a dry heat, humid heat. Mosquitoes love humidity. Mosquitoes love water. That's where they breed. Um, any extremes of the temperature and you have a somewhat mosquito-free area. So anyway, Southern California, great, great. Um, and then I could live in like Antarctica or, or Greenland or Iceland or something like that. That's about as, as good as it gets for mosquito-afflicted bite people. Um, anyway, I feel... <laughs> I'm sticking with the heat, and then on top of that, my body feels like garbage if I'm not at like an 80 degree. I gotta be at like an 80 degree heat, and then my bones don't feel like garbage. Uh, it, these are first world problems, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, let's wrap up. It's 10.07. I'm gonna wrap up. Let me just get all my gear together get my gear wrapped ooh storm coming in dude love the sound of those storms coming in uh, not that it's good for photographs because it's not but that's fine um, okay so I'm gonna wave goodbye to this person Good job, dude. I'm gonna hand you the reins. Pass the reins in terms of leading. 
this team. And I'm gonna leave. Okay. Quick photo review. Are you from Southern California? Yes. Born and raised. I was born in Santa Monica. Let me dox myself a little bit. I was born in Santa Monica. I don't think that's really doxing, but... Uh, born in Santa Monica. I've lived in California my whole life. All over... All over California have I lived... Um, and yeah, I love it very much. I'm never, I'm probably, ne I'm, I'm probably never moving from Southern California. I love this place. And that has to do with, uh, the, the, obviously the mosquito situation <laughs> that we were talking about. Uh, but also I have like the best, I, I have the best friends, the coolest people in my life. And all of those people live in this area and that's and that's that's the most important thing to me the the amazing friends i have my amazing family that i have uh yeah gary gary's my man i live very close to gary uh not the docs you gary sorry gary i mean you're, you use a real name if you use a real name on here i take it that you're not that concerned <laughs> but at the same time i apologize yeah <laughs> This person's name, by the way, is Gary Livingston. And he's right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. I'm sorry. I do apologize. To, I, I, to not, I don't want to dox anybody. Okay. Let's move on. Um, I, know you're not, I know you're not that serious. But at the same time. Um, I live in an area and I'm surrounded by a lot of good people and that's that's what really matters to me. If everybody I knew lived somewhere else, I'd probably move right there. But the people I love are right from this area, right from where I'm at. Central California. Uh, yeah, oh, I know Central. I know the Central Cali. Um, one of my buddies uh, got married a few years ago up in Sacramento area. Uh, we had a real good time up there. I almost went to school. I almost, almost, almost went to school um, up in San Francisco for a little while. Wait, this is a work of fiction. Names, characters, business events, and sensor products, authors, imagination. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Purely coincidental. Purely. Um, uh, but I almost went to school in San Francisco for a little while. I went... I, I applied, or no, I didn't actually ever apply Law and Order Bong Sound. Yeah, I know exactly. Boom. Uh, I think, uh, yeah. I'll talk about myself. Nobody else. Um, anyway, Central California uh, represent. Um, quick review. Quick review before we wrap up. Okay, this is a pretty cool face-off shot between a super mutant behemoth and a Myrler queen. I just hate the lighting here. The lighting here absolutely sucks. If we had a little bit more emphasis on these two enemies... In terms of the lighting, this could have been great. And I should have turned on my Pip-Boy light. It's cool. It's cool, but it's like, it's just... Uh... I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, by the way. But it just like, it, it doesn't... It Like the, the characters, the Myrler Queen and the... Uh, Super Mutant Behemoth, they just don't stand out as much as I would have hoped. The real, the real uh, uh, get of this frame is that falling leaf right in the central uh, bottom portion. Because those falling leaves are difficult to come by. Um, but no, I should, if I had my Pip-Boy light on here, the foreground elements, which would have been those two enemies, would have stood out very well in contrast with those the tree in the background in the sky um, but it's not bad you're right it's not bad it's not bad they blend in yeah exactly exactly they're blending in a little bit too much 
I want them to pop a little bit. I want to feel dimension of the closer elements of the frame with the background elements in the frame. And right here, it's a very flat looking image. Um, but you know what? It's our first, I think I've never shot a face off shot like this. So that's kind of cool. Plus it blends well with the face off shot of this other dude. Well, we'll get there in a second. Let's get there in a second. Um, either way, that's the best of those face face off shots. So this one's crap. Uh, Behemoth's face is within that uh, Myrler Queen. This shot, no. This shot, no. Love that one. No on that one. No on that one. I'm also not supposed to delete too many of these. Um, uh, no on that one. Although, this one's kind of cool. If that creature... Um, uh, if that creature looked a little bit more discernible, that could have been cool. If that was just like a regular humanoid enemy in this shot, like let's imagine that that was an enemy about to swing at me with like a knife or something. Does PS let you screenshot uh, the pictures? Yeah, okay. So one of the coolest things about this game and photographing in this game um, is that every picture I take is saved to my internal PlayStation library. So everything we've taken, and this is why it's, it's easy for me to delete the images in this game. Every picture we've taken is saved to my media library on my PlayStation 5. So even if I delete something, I still have a backup high resolution um or at least as high as of resolution that we can get from this game save to the internal playstation drive so there's no need to screenshot in in zelda we have a a huge amount of trouble exporting the images from the game so we can share them uh fallout not a problem at all very easy to obtain these images for sharing on other other uh social media or what have you um and that's a very uh, that did not i do not believe that was a product of any other playstation console except ps5 they also added nintendo likes being difficult i know right well Nintendo very famously, uh, you know, tried to uh, prosecute some of the uh, streamers that were streaming Nintendo games because they were claiming copyright over, over those games and the imagery contained within. And I know that they backed off a little bit. I wasn't, I don't think I'd even started streaming yet when that happened. I think that was a few years ago. And, uh, yeah, Nintendo wants to be difficult. That's yeah, good call. Cheers, by the way. Again, Czar, happy birthday again. One more time, one more cheers. Actually, you know what? Here, I'll take one more sip and then I'll do the last. I'll finish off the, the mug with one more cheers before we actually head out. Um, either way, good face-off shot. This shot could have been cool, but no. Um, that's actually a decent shot of these glowing Marlurks. Marlurk Hunters. I'll keep that one. Um, this is kind of a fun shot of these three scorpions, too. That's not bad. I do wish I had a little bit more of that cage on the left side, maybe, or omitted it completely. Thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Of course. Dude, the fact that you were you were on my stream for your birthday is just so flattering. It's the least I could do. Um, I like that shot, these three scorpions. Ideally, again, I would have had a cleaner frame. I just don't like that stuff on the left side, but that's still not bad. Um, if you, Especially if you knew what meat week was, if you knew what we're doing here, this shot could be pretty cool. Again, probably should have had my pit boy light on. Maybe I should just leave that on when we're doing these kind of things. 
Uh, we got these cultists firing at us. That's eh, okay. These shots are okay. Cultists with flaming pitchfork. This shot's kind of cool. I like that flying bottle just above the flaming pitchfork itself. We got a f uh, flying whiskey bottle. Very fitting as we are drinking whiskey tonight. <laughs> Uh, face off between Graham and uh, Garahan Mining's latest invention, which is the excavator power armor, uh, which is on the left side there. It's kind of a fun shot. Again, though, the background. Yeah, I love this shot, except for, again, the background, though. If the background wasn't so messy they would have stood out so much more. Like, imagine this shot, but instead of the the messy foreground uh, and those trees in the background, or I guess it's not the foreground. Either way, all the stuff behind the characters there, if that was just that beautiful blue sky and those clouds, that shot would have been very beautiful. I should have actually... I could have... Maybe I was already... Uh, crouching down but if i could have crouched down got a little bit lower and posed them just in front of the sky i think that could have been cool but you know what we're playing around with these these face-off type shots and so we're going to continue to maybe try to get some of those in the future we got this shot of graham at the uh cookout eh, this is okay this 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 time the lighting really should have been a little bit more frontal. Again, could have had my pit boy light on. They should let you edit them after you take them. That would be that would be great. That would be very great. Um, and I've mentioned taking these into Photoshop, which we will do at some point. Taking these images into Photoshop, playing around and seeing what we can get away with. Uh, in terms of the malleability of these files, because these are very low uh, in terms of their color fidelity and uh, uh, resolution, that there's a very little amount of manipulation that we can add to these before they really just fall apart, because we're not going to be able to uh, get much out of the sh like in this case the shadow area in the f in the front section of that of the uh, of Graham the super mutant right here trying to pull detail out of out of that shadow area probably not going to happen but I'd like to play around and see how far we can get manipulating these uh, eventually we will see the day the day a game incorporates a raw like uh, image file that you can manipulate that will be a good day I would absolutely love because there's no reason there's like no reason that the game can't give you full access to like every single image parameter of this image capture uh, other than file size, it's all file size. If, if if I shot this image and it gave me access to like every single bit of information that was offered in capturing this section of the game, that'd be insane. But we'd be able to do things like completely change the angle of view, um, lighting contrast color all that could be completely manipulated because it's a completely raw image file uh, but that's kind of gnarly to think about how much information is captured in a single frame from a video game it'd be like if you're familiar with uh, uh, light field light field cameras cameras that capture not only um, color information and exposure information but depth information uh, which most phones do now phones are utilizing a lot of that um, uh, a lot of that technology a lot of the um, uh, uh, computational side 
of image capture, your phone is using a lot more of that type of thing than most pro or prosumer cameras do because it's all software based and the software it's all in your phone but for professional cameras and stuff you gotta plug that in star wars game wait not sure if you're into star wars games but star wars jedi fallen order is really good photo mode oh i will definitely play that if it's if it's uh if it's got some good photo stuff in there we will definitely be looking into it and yeah i do like star wars very much uh my dream dream halloween costume as a child was boba fett didn't really work out tried to build a cardboard jetpack uh out of toilet paper and uh uh uh, uh different pieces of cardboard <laughs> tried to build that backpack tried to build that jetpack tried to build the helmet it didn't work out i think i ended up doing something like Something simple that year. <laughs> My buddy Gary. Gary is like the master at uh, elaborate Halloween costumes. I'm, I'm like a noob. I'm a noob when it comes to that stuff. Um, I'll get there eventually. I'll be, I'll, I'll, I will be, I will be Boba Fett one day. <laughs> Dude, 3D printers. Yes. Yes. Um, anyway, okay. Shot of Graham will get you Boba Fetted. Yeah. Oh, dude. I'll do some, some Fet, dude. I'll do some Fet. Uh, the Fet Man. Uh, not the best shot of Graham. Let's delete that one. I do like the shot of the pirate spinning the meat. That's kind of fun. Uh, Behemoth just breaking through the trees. I like that light breaking through the trees with the Behemoth, but... We could have done better. Not a bad shot. One of my boys on my team uh, fighting those uh, those honey beasts, those giant bees. I do like these shots. These shots are kind of fun. I'm allergic to bees. <laughs> Boba T. <tea>. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Um, and then that's where we left it. Okay, so what was... What was the pro snap pick of the day? Oh man. You know, I'll give it to this face off shot. Okay, because not only this was the first like f face off versus type shot that we've had but it, it is also i think one of the first shots that we've had uh during this particular event and i think that's kind of fun so i'll say it's that you know i'll say that i'll say it although coming in a close second would probably be the uh, uh, the Super Mutant Behemoth versus Mirelurk Queen face-off shot. I think that's kind of fun. We got these two decent face-off shots in one stream, and maybe we'll try to continue to do more shots like that if we're doing public events like this. Those type of shots can pop up. Opportunities to, to grab shots like this can pop up. Just really wish the lighting here was better, but whatever. Uh, scorpion one. Yeah, the scorpion one is really good. I do love this shot. All the scorpions are relatively well separated from themselves here. And also the fog and the mist in the background uh, kind of helps the foreground scorpion stand out. Yeah, maybe this shot was better. I mean, I think this shot looks cooler overall. But it's just these face-off shots we never get. I don't know. I don't know. Or we could say it's the, the scorpion shot. A scorpion shot is pretty cool, too. Again, if the pit boy light was on, this could have also stood out a little bit more, but whatever. Uh, either way, we got a couple good shots. We got a couple good shots. We attempted to get some better... Uh, 
event type photography done maybe we didn't get the best stuff in the world is there anything i can afk no not really let's hope to afk something while we we're uh while we were talking our way out of the stream but that's fine um i can put my person to sleep i can do that i can let my person sleep my player character and then let's do this last we'll do one more one more nice big gulp shot for Zara's B day. Um, <laughs> happy birthday again, Zar. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. It's Friday, so uh, you get the whole weekend. I hope you said you had like a day off this weekend, right? To celebrate, so please do. Please enjoy it. Uh, you deserve it. Uh, we all deserve to have a good weekend. We all deserve to relax, especially if it's our birthday. Cheers, my friend. Ooh, last sip of that. Last sip of that beer. Um, uh, yeah, very much, very much, very much wish everybody enjoys their weekend and has some fun. Um, I hope the stream was okay. I hope it was, it was entertaining and enjoyable. I know we didn't get, like, the best, I feel like we didn't get the best shots tonight, but um, again, when we're doing these public a live events, just, it's a little bit up. more difficult to uh, manipulate what is happening and and uh, and and getting those those perfect shots that we want. So um, I appreciate everybody being patient and. Uh, allowing me to experiment with different ways of playing and different ways of shooting. Uh, Merdim is so tiny. Wait, which one was that? Oh, the Odell one. Yeah, the redemption, redemptions are, you know, we're going to work on the redemptions. We have a lot more planned. Uh, and, um, now it's locked in place. Those, yeah. Okay. yeah. So really, you think, oh, we'll, God, get those, we'll get those keyed in, you know, eventually. Um, the fact that we, first of all, Paxmore, thank you again for getting those set up because we wouldn't have those at all if Paxmore was not getting those done. So, my friend, you deserve like three salutes, three solidus, which is what that is. If you're if you're not familiar with what I'm doing, I'm doing a solid. I'm doing a command. Command, thank you. Appreciate you. I love you. That's what we're doing. Solid as slash. Um, yeah, thank you all. Again, thank you all for being here. Really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate all the support. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of their weekend. Um, relax a little bit. Have some fun. Do something you want to do. Take pictures, obviously. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My friend, my friend. Um, let's see. Let's do Discord. We have a pretty rad Discord community. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you want to touch base with myself or any of these other amazing people that I have um, in my circle, uh, check out the Discord. If you've taken any pictures in game that you would like to share. This is what we call photography. We have a great place to share uh, on the Discord your in-game photography or your real-life photography. I love looking at people's photography. I love photography in general. Obviously, that's why we're doing this. Um, I love game photography. I love seeing people's exploits in games. Uh, and we have a great place on the Discord to share all of your exploits uh, with us and it would be very much appreciated if you want to share those with people that would respect what you've done. That's a good place to check out. Uh, let's do social. Oh, well, well, specifically, again, this game, we have a pretty sweet website built out. Uh, pretty sweet. It's in the works, okay? It's like, it's, it's like baseline standard website type thing. Uh, but if you check out prosnapcameraclub.com, that's where you can find the photos that we take here in the game. Those will end up on ProSnap. Um, yeah, dude, dude, any photos you post, please, 
please. I uh, would love to see what you got. Um, Look the Pro Snap that. Camera Club website. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you. Uh, the Pro Snap Camera Club website is where I will be posting most of the best photos from our exploits here on the stream on there, as well as when we get around to, which I do intend on doing eventually. I know I say this every time, but when we get around to customizing this camera to look very similar to the one that we use in game, all of that will be detailed on the Pro Snap Camera Club website, as well as the YouTube page. Let's just do our full socials. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, social. Oh. It's not easy to type when you've been drinking. Um, the YouTube will also have all of those videos documented. In fact, when we have the ProSnap Camera Club website really well built out and fledged out and whatever, fully fledged website, uh, it'll just be, probably be embedded YouTube videos for any kind of video content. We'll just be embedded YouTube videos on there. So if you follow the YouTube, you'll probably have a good idea of what, what's happened on the ProSnap website. And if you have followed the ProSnap website, you have a good idea of what's happened on YouTube. Um, but those are two good, two very good places to keep track of if you're interested in what we're doing here in the game. Um, other than that, I think those uh, uh, social medias are pretty well explained. Instagram, Twitter, Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I really hope everybody enjoys the rest of their weekend. Y'all deserve it. Uh, did we do Discord? We did Discord. Yeah, we did Discord. Uh, I will urge everybody, take care. Take pictures. Don't lose your dinosaur, Okay. Uh, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Everybody really deserves to relax and have some fun, man. We got the weekend now. Let's 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 have some fun. You know, you deserve it. Um, I hope everybody enjoys everything that you got going on this weekend. And I will be back uh, at the very earliest on Wednesday for uh, Wedding Wednesday in Stardew Valley. Thursday, we got uh, Zelda, Triforce Thursday, and then we got, again, uh, Photography Friday in Fallout. But maybe I'll get something going on Monday or Tuesday. Maybe. It's kind of nice to have Monday and Tuesday to be just like, uh, like taking care of back catalog stuff. So I'm not sure if anything will happen, but definitely Wednesday for Wedding Wednesdays in Stardew Valley. Definitely Thursday and Friday. Um, so until then, thank you all for coming and hanging out. Really appreciate it. Uh, be well and, uh, don't lose your freaking dinosaur, man. We gotta, gotta not lose that dinosaur. Really appreciate you peeps, man. Thank you very much. I'm gonna throw a snack out, out there for you. Snack, you all. Party on Wayne and party on Garth. Let me throw a... You know what? I'll throw like I'll throw five Todd Howards. I think this stream was like the stream was like a five Todd Howard stream. Cause like so much glitching. So many glitches. <laughs> and how Todd Howard is that, you know? <laughs> Alright, I love you guys. Peace.